Hello everybody, we're going to be talking about surface area of pyramids and cones and spheres. Um, let's talk about pyramids first. Um, if the base of a pyramid is a regular polygon and a segment with endpoints that are the center of the base and the vertex is perpendicular to the base, then the pyramid is called a regular pyramid. Here we have a picture down here on the right. They have three specific characteristics. The altitude is the segment with endpoints. They're at the center of the base and the vertex. All of the lateral faces are congruent isosceles triangles. The height of each lateral face is called the slant height, L, of the pyramid. Okay, so here a regular pyramid. We have a square base. We have the altitude right in the center. The base is a regular polygon at the bottom. And notice the slant height going up as if you were walking up the side of the pyramid. That would be the slant height. Okay, here's a square pyramid. Um, we have a lateral edge. Notice the vertex at the top. Here's the altitude right on the side here. Lateral face and of course we have the base. Okay, the lateral area of a regular pyramid. This a regular pyramid has lateral area of L squared units, a slant height of L units, and its base is a perimeter of P units. And the formula for the lateral area of a regular pyramid is L equals one half P times L. One half the perimeter, you take the perimeter and multiply it by the slant height L. Uh, surface area of a regular pyramid, overall it's the same thing, here's that formula again, 1 half PL, but then we're just going to add B, the base, the area of the base. Okay, surface area of cones. A cone is like a circular pyramid you can think of. Shape of, uh, of a teepee suggests a regular cone. Cones have the following characteris characteristics. The base is a circle and the vertex is at point V. The axis is a segment with endpoints that are the vertex and the center of the base. The segment that has the vertex as one endpoint and is perpendicular to the base is called the altitude of the cone. So here's a right cone. That's what we think of most when we think of just a regular cone. Axis is also the altitude. This dotted line here. Notice it's going down to the center of the base. There's the radius of the base. And there's L, the slant height. Here's an oblique cone that's sort of off-centered. That knows the axis is going at an angle. The altitude is still perpendicular, but it's not in the center of the cone. A cone with an axis that is also an altitude is called a right cone. Otherwise, it's called an oblique cone, and we saw that in the previous picture. The measure of any segment joining the vertex of a cone to the edge of the circular base is called slant height L. The measure of the altitude is the height H of the cone lateral area of the cone, if you just want the lateral area, right circular cone has a lateral area of L square units, a slant height of L units, and a radius of the base R units, and the lateral area L is just pi times R times L. So you got to figure out the radius, got to figure out the slant height, and then that will tell you the lateral area of the cone if you just multiply pi times R times L. Surface area of a cone. Okay, it's just going to take it a step further. Here's our lateral area again, pi, r, and l. We're going to add to that the area of the base, which is just a simple circle, pi, r squared. Surface area of a sphere. Here's a sphere, a 3D object we see. Um, the, the surface area is simply 4 pi, r squared. If you know the radius, just take 4 pi, r squared. You can sort of think of the surface area of a sphere as four circles, as the formula suggests.